You've tuned in to The Mountain Gardener with local garden expert, Ken Lang. Join him each week as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lang. Now, I, I love pine trees, ponderosas, Austrian pines, any kind of pine, scotch pine, pinion pines, uh, vanderwolfs, or, or white pines. They are just, they're magical. They got a nice straight trunk. Uh, the, the branching pattern is just this layered branch. The wind going through a pine forest is just, it's, it's magical. It just adds life to the to the landscape so i like them they're evergreen so they they can block things out or give you a, they can frame vistas you put them on either side and whoop, look at this i look at the mountain granite mountain right there so there's a lot of going on for them. the one negative <laughs> it's this time of year i've got several of very large ancient ponderosas they're beautiful they're they're majestic there's no other way if i were to lose those i could probably file an insurance claim they're so valuable and so the negative though right now <laughs> the pine cones are coming off. Oh, they're forever dropping pine cones. So they've they had a little bit of pollen in the spring, then they've been formed. They've got the new growth. Uh, you can hear the wind whispering through this gentle sunlit gardens. It just they're they're magical. And so I've treated them to keep them healthy, I've fertilize them, give them some plant a drench kind of stuff, keep the bugs out of them. I've really taken care of them. Well, now they're so healthy. <laughs> they want to reproduce. So they're throwing pine cones out everywhere because they're just so happy. So every couple of weeks, pick the pine cones up and it's all good. So you just rake them or whatever. It's just it's just one thing I notice. You know, every plant has their positive and every plant has a drawback. I should, I, they're probably just like people. People have, some of them are just a delight, but they got their issues and others have the other issues and different delights. It's just the plants are the same way. And so I did notice too, I was doing some research. So I'm trying to up my game on the podcast. We're finding more and more folks are listening on the go. And so I was doing some anal analyzing uh, the, the, the data behind the podcast. So they track everything. It's amazing. Anything digital, they can track everything. And so it was interesting. The number one way people Listen to at least the, the I, call, I call it the top 10 gardener. That's our name of our podcast. If you want to take a look, you can go to watersgardencenter.com. At the very top of the front page, there's a, there's a podcast button. Just hit that. It takes you right there. So follow it, subscribe it, see what it's like. So, but the number one way people listen to the Mountain Garden, this radio show uh, in podcast form is by smart speaker. I have not seen that before. Last year was all about phones. So people take it with their phone and they listen to it through their buds, through their ears, your ear, whatever their devices, and they go garden out in the yard or they're walking the neighborhoods. They were listening to it by phone. Now it's by smart speaker. I think they just have a Bluetooth thing out there while they're gardening. And they're listening to it on the patio, the deck, the in the living room, wherever, just at 51%. 34% are now by phone, and then the rest are PC, laptop, uh, mobile, uh, other devices. That's 51 plus 34. That's like most everyone is, they're, they're walking about doing their thing. It's just super interesting. I did not see that coming. It's just very interesting. It's called the Top 10 Gardener. If you're going to Apple or Google or wherever you get your garden advice, I break out the segments. They're short 10-minute segments, uh, local, timely about what to do now. And so you can download and subscribe that to wherever you get your favorite. Or go to watersgardencenter.com. Just hit the button at the top, the YouTube channel. So classes, I'm trying to do more of this in, in YouTube video form. So you can see, I can actually show things off through our YouTube channel. You can The YouTube button is right there on the home screen. So, But mainly... Throughout the week, Lisa and I camp out here at Waters Garden Center. We just love talking to, my therapy is going talking gardening with other gardeners. It's, it's just fun. If new neighbors are encroaching on your privacy, we have just the solution. At Waters, we have an entire section of thick, bold plants dedicated to privacy. Fall is a time to plant a new privacy hedge, and we're here as advisors. Take a quick measurement and snap a picture before you come visit. 
and you'll quickly be living in privacy once again. Plus, our team of experts know how to plant to increase plant growth next spring. We'll show you how. Waters Garden Center, we know privacy in your backyard. If you want a more fruitful garden, increase success in your landscape that just feels better, then tune in every week to The Mountain Gardener. Years of tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts are guaranteed to make your gardens nicer than ever. Listen to this podcast or read Ken's weekly garden column by visiting watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy this show and would like to hear more, please subscribe to The Mountain Gardener wherever you like to listen to podcasts. And if you'd like even more garden tips, tricks, and helpful advice, please check out my website at watersgardencenter.com for classes, videos, and more. Or my online garden center at top10plants.com. Throughout the week, Lisa and I can be found here at Waters Garden Center in Prescott.